Hi everyone, my name is Mary and welcome back to Queen Inc. As you can see right in front of us, this is going to be a new video. Uh, not really. This is the All Parts Done 3 section wing. And as you can see, I have section 3.1 right here. Move that out of the way. So that's the 3.1. This is 3.2. Now, as you can see, this is what it looks like. Sorry, my desk isn't that big. This one is going to be 3.3. That was that all black section. And this is 3.4. And so, this is what it'll look like when it is all completed and done. So, 3.1. 3.2, 3.3, and 3.4. This is going to be a short video. Um, let me just sit down. So this is going to be a really short, short video. Um, so that way you can see all the parts are done. And what they all look like. And then that is the graph for 3.1. And no, I have not sewn any of them together, so that way you could see them all. Okay. This is 3.2. That was that whole entire black section with that little yellow section right here. And there is that little yellow section. And then there it all is in black. And the reason why it's all in black is one because when you put the two sections together as you can see that is the yellow section that goes around the wing excuse me so this whole black section right here is all the wing section and then when we scoot this over and we have this whole entire black section right here which is 3.3 that was that whole black section this is part of the wing as well as you can see and it's just double crochet all in black and then when you move on to 3.4 as you can see this is that yellow section and then this is that wing section right here so we'll move that section over for you and so that is what it looks like and so when you connect it, you will connect it like this. Okay? So that's how you will connect everything. Um, so that way you know exactly what it will look like when you connect all your sections. So you'll connect the yellow with this yellow section right here and those two at the top like this. And then you'll sew down the middle right here of the black section. And then this section you'll just sew these down the middle. And then over here you make sure to put this black section on the 3.4 towards the black section of 3.3 and you'll sew it down here at the very bottom and go up. And what I would suggest doing is pinning it so that way you do not have to worry about um, if you missed a stitch or if it turns out like that. Okay? Um, so that way it turns out flush with each other. And then, of course, we'll be moving on to 4.1 of the Batman wing section. Once I'm done with 4.4, 4, uh, section 4 of the wing section, we are done crocheting and everything. I'll do another all done parts like this one, where I'll show you all four parts. And then I will show you what the wing section looks like uh, in, as a whole. So all four sections together, uh, sewed together, and what it actually looks like as a picture, as a wing. Okay, 
so it'll be really awesome and really cool so you won't see just like these small little sections like I do with these videos where I'm like okay we're done with this whole entire section this is what it looks like so then we'll do this with uh, section four where I'll show you all four where I'll show you all four parts and then I will have another video where I will show you what the whole Batman wing section looks like sewn together and you get to see the full wing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got to actually see all four parts of these. You got to see 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, and 3.4. If you have any questions about how to sew these together, leave them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave me a like if you like this video. And on top of that, if you do need help sewing these parts together, let me know. I will make a separate video on how to sew these sections together. Okay? Um, until then, I will see you in the next video for the new section of section four for the Batman wing blanket. And then once we're done and you get to see all of section four and all four sections put together and sewn together, then we will move on to the middle section of the Batman blanket. Don't forget to make two of every single one of these. So you want to make sure you have two of these so that way they are reversible. So an example would be, so one section would be on this side, then when you flip it over you have a reverse section. And so here I'll show you what that would actually look like if it's reversed. So we'll flip all of these over, I'll pull the camera out and show you the reverse and you get, we'll get to see that. Okay. And I'll put every single one of them back down. Okay, so now I'm going to pull out my camera so you can see the reverse of this. So this is what the reverse section will look like of the Batman blanket. Okay. So instead of it being the way that I just showed you, this is the way that it'll look like and the wing section will be now on this side and then the middle section would be over here. Okay? So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you wanna see more of these types of tutorials or if you are interested in seeing section four of the Batman wing blanket section and I will see you next time. Happy crocheting, everybody stay safe, and bye-bye.